I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. St. Matthias and your pastor, they have a lot in common. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. Can you love? How could you not love that mission? And if it's for youth and young adults, says Dr. Luther, old folks like us, we can get some gifts from it too. Give today. Tomorrow is St. Matthias Day, and I like Matthias because nobody knows who Matthias is. Um... He is sometimes, like, left out of lists of the apostles. In fact, I think there's a picture in my church, it used to be, I got rid of it, where they had all the apostles, and Matthias was one of them. Paul was slid into the Judas spot. Matthias is the guy that takes over for, um, for Judas. Remember, Judas was an apostle, full-blown apostle, but he falls away from the faith, um, betrays his Lord, and then hangs himself showing that it's really important where you go to church with your sins. We'll put that link in the description, too. Um, but the uh, uh, also, they have a call meeting because they got to replace Judas. And so they look and they pray to God for God to grant them. And this is in Acts 1, verses 20 and following. They pray to God to give them someone to replace Judas. And he knows the heart. And two guys who've been with them from the beginning are brought forth, Eustace, also known as the first loser, and, <laughs> and Matthias. They pray, they cast lots, which either means they picked a name out of the hat, they rolled dice, or they um, or they voted. All those are ways that we call casting lots. And a lot fell on Matthias, and the place was Matthias. And there he stood with the twelve at Pentecost, and then he stood again with the twelve at um in Acts 6, and he's never mentioned again. Never. Not in the scriptures. Ever again. And so, that's why you end up with, like, churches. I did a, a service at a church one time where the apostles were all back there, except for Matthias. He wasn't back there. Now, why, did, why is Matthias important? Well, supposedly Matthias did some things, and you can find in church history some of the things that he did. He is known for bringing the gospel to Ethiopia or Armenia. One of those two things is true. He is um, supposedly buried um, in, in um, the cathedral at Trier, um, which makes him the only apostle to be married, nor, uh, be married, buried north of the Alps. Well, that's kind of interesting. But the, but the point here is, why did I say that your pastor and him have a lot in common? Well, it's like this. There are loads of Matthiases in this world. Pastors who serve like your pastor, and they never get any fanfare. Nobody knows who they are. They never go to cheers, and not everybody knows their name. Okay? This is an 80s reference, but you get my point. Um, no, nobody, nobody knows who these folks are. These guys are. And they serve their parishes their whole life, and they have an impact on you and your family and your family's family. And they, they, they baptize kids, son, um, uh, then their kids, and then their kids' kids. And they do the confirmations, and they do the weddings, and they do the funerals, and they preach the gospel every single Sunday, and nobody knows who they are. Nothing is written of them in the Book of the Kings um, at the end of Game of Thrones. They're just, they, don't make, they, they don't make the cut. They're not even C-list internet celebrities, okay? But yet they serve faithfully, and they serve rightly. And sometimes they're included on the wall, and sometimes they're not. But you know who knows them? God knows them. Do you know who, who knows what Matthias did? God knows what Matthias did. And God worked through Messiah, Matthias in order to do good for those that he preached to and those that he baptized and those that he gave the Lord's Supper to, those that he, he, he buried. And so your pastor's in the same vein as them. Um, probably never going to write a book, never going to 
be famous. Nobody's ever going to know who he is. Uh, the only time he'll ever make the news is if he does something poorly. He chose poorly. And nevertheless, the point is, there's a lot to say about Matthias. And the one who knows what to say about Matthias is God. And the one that knows what to say about your pastor is God as well. So I want you to go um, and, and on tomorrow, tomorrow's most people have their Lenten services. I want you to grab pastor and you say, Pastor, um, I appreciate you. On this St. Matthias Day, I appreciate your work. I appreciate what you're doing. Um, thanks for giving me the gospel. Because nobody's ever going to know that you did this. But we're going to know that you did this. And God knows that you did this. A blessed Matthias Day tomorrow to you and to your families. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.